Hey, what's up you guys? It's Lexi DIY and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are hopping straight into the video and we are in the sunroom and we are leveling out these uneven um, like beams under the subfloor. Oh, let me tell y'all, this one is a wild ride, but make sure that if you're not already that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss when I upload next. We got a lot coming up, let me tell ya. This house is a mess. We gotta fix it. Anyway, um, this took many days, so I decided let's let's show you guys how many days it actually took. Um, here we're on day one, where my back is crying, but I'm feeling optimistic. You know, we have to level out the subfloors. But fun fact: one side of the joists were six inches, and the other side of the joists, even though it's the same joist, were four inches. Now, one of my pallies on TikTok was like, "Well, you can." get a wood planer and I was like I don't know how to use that I don't know if it's expensive I'm gonna figure out a different way so I cut the joist to be like half the size and on this side of the room I could put them right on those blocks and I had to you know do some shims here and there to get them level with each other but um yeah for most part they were good over there and you'll kind of see as I go through this I'll explain how it's all still stable and really I'm just reinforcing it so yeah um, I am using construction screws once I have everything level to attach uh, these to the existing ones and I am putting them on like scattering throughout like some on the top some on the bottom because apparently wood warps over time and I did not know that so here we are on day two uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a little defeated at this point. My back was crying <laughs> and so were my knees. I probably should have wore some knee pads in this, although I did not. But um, basically we're just doing the same thing. We're making sure it's level each way because remember we want it to be level with that, um, with the living room, which we already put flooring in because we want it to be continuous. Now, spoiler alert, I'm not sure I can do that <laughs> because let me tell you none of the floor in this old house is level and it's been really a struggle but anyway <laughs> it's fine everything's fine I'm fine um also I'm basically just doing the same thing over and over again here but uh by these vents they were this is where the floor was dipping considerably. And it's because it definitely wasn't like supported properly at the wall. So I kind of had to throw in some extra like blocking underneath that. You can't really see it because I went back and did it afterwards um, just to make sure that that extra board that I just added wasn't going to warp over time. On day three, we finally got to start putting back down some of the insulation. We did end up just going with all new insulation because you know, there was rat poop in some of the other ones. And we were like, let's just throw that all out, start from scratch. And we, I think ended up getting like one that will hopefully keep our house a little bit warmer. Anyway, you'll notice that he's only cutting halfway over it and it's because they've only at this point leveled half the sunroom, but we were like, we need to feel some sort of accomplishment. This has been like the ever going, ongoing project. We need to get a piece of the subfloor actually down. So we were like, we're just gonna, you know, do one half at a time, it'll be fine. Uh, so we got that in and then I just screwed it all into the joist. And let me tell you, this was like the moment where I was like, okay, I have finally accomplished something, you know, a million days into this project. <laughs> I'm also using those same construction screws. Uh, I didn't, I mentioned that I was screwing this down into the joist, but I did not mention with what. You'll also see I put blocking because it's not hitting the end of like a joist. So um, I didn't film it because honestly, at that part of the project, I was so over this. I was like, I'm about to just hire somebody to do this, but I'm Lexi DIY. Come on, I can't hire somebody to do it. I gotta figure it out myself. And I did, and you know, I guess it turned out all right. Anyway, um, I decided to move my saw inside 
to do a lot of this because it was taking so much time to just go back and forth to my workspace and in the garage and I was like, no, 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 we're just bringing it inside. We'll clean up the dust later. And that, that definitely helped a lot. So, you know, on to day four. And then I started bringing like my shims and my <laughs> screws and everything around and like all my little tools around in this little reusable Target bag because I was like, I am tired of picking all of it up. Let's work smarter, not harder. And yeah, you can tell at this point that I'm like, I've given up. <laughs> but you know, we're gonna, we can do hard things. We're just gonna cry about it, okay? Remember that, that's the new motto. It was really nice to see an actual piece of the subfloor go down yesterday. So I was like, let's just finish leveling out this other side um, so that we can actually get more pieces down. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This, this part was rough. Um, anyway, I also used my Ryobi track saw, which they sent me in PR, which how freaking cool is it that I get PR from Ryobi? Like I didn't, I, when I got the boxes on my front porch, I was like, oh my God, I don't deserve this, but I'm so incredibly grateful. So shout out to them. This is not sponsored. I just genuinely like very much appreciate it. And you guys see, I use all their stuff. Um, but the track saw was like, such a game changer. I'll get back to that when I'm cutting some more, but anyway. Um, then Caresti put down some more insulation on this side so that we could get the other pieces um, down. Now we did have to cut the middle piece and I ended up putting on the end piece first and then we had to take it off, but I didn't want to show all that because I was like, y'all don't need to see me like screw the end piece in and then unscrew it and then get this middle piece in. And that's my own fault because like, why would I do it backwards? Anyway, yeah, while I'm screwing those in, I do have an exciting announcement. It's not the exciting announcement that I was talking about earlier. That'll still come at the end. But this is so cool. I got nominated for a cheer choice award, you guys. And I got nominated in the education category with a lot of other amazing creators. And I am just really incredibly grateful to even be nominated. Um, they nominate people or like content creators that are spreading positivity online. And I think that's really cool that um, what a compliment to even be nominated. Um, the the voting has been going on for a few weeks now and there's there was a lot of different rounds but right now there's actually two days left until um to see if i get into the top final round so if you guys want to go vote um i'm gonna leave the link like here in the cards and i'm also going to leave it in the description box below and the top five um, it's top 10 right now. The top five get to go to Vegas to an award show. And then there's going to be one more round of voting. So really hoping to make it. Um, and yeah, all you have to do is just, uh, put in your email, click one vote. Uh, and then you just like, they send you an email and you click a little button to say, yeah, I did that. Um, so if you guys could do that, that would be really cool. And I would really appreciate it. Anyway, um, I'm putting some blocking in, um, at the edge of the subfloor because we don't want it to be wobbly uh, not a wobbly clean over here and then you'll see i'm putting in some extra blocking and like in between some of them and that's basically for the edges of the plywood to get screwed down into because you know the floor would be like real bouncy <laughs> if i just like ah, and we might break a hole in it if i you know didn't do that anyway um to make sure I was getting the right measurements, I put like grid lines on the uh, plywood and that really helped a lot actually. And then I used like this spare piece of plywood because it was the same width to um, use it to draw my little lines. So love that, definitely recommend. And definitely recommend the um, guide like track saw. This was the one time ever that I was able to cut a straight line so shout out to this. I do need to get like more attachable little tracks, but they're out online. So whenever they come back, I'm gonna be getting those for sure. And I'm gonna be using this for a lot of projects. Um, so yeah, highly recommend, absolutely love it. The pieces on this side were a little bit more tricky just because the walls in this house weren't even. So we did have to like make some slight adjustments here and there because obviously everything wasn't perfectly straight. And um, the full piece of plywood was um, a bit bigger than 
the width between the other plywood and the wall. I then also had to cut out the little notches for the vents. And I wouldn't say I did the best job of this, but you know what, we got it done and really that's all that matters. And then this part, I don't know why, but when Dustin started laying the, um, what is this called? Insulation, sorry, my brain was having a moment. Um, in this particular area, I was like, you know what? We're about to have like a completed section of subfloor and I'm so excited about it. So yeah, we got that one on and then we went ahead and just used those construction screws again to uh, drill it down and make sure that it was level with everything else. Now you'll see all four of my boards are at one corner, which I didn't know you weren't supposed to do. So you know what? You live and you learn. You're actually supposed to stagger them. At least that's what my TikTok comments said um, so that you can get it a little bit more even. So I guess we'll see how it goes when I lay the floors. I haven't done that yet. Um, stay tuned. But just in case you happen to be tackling this project, Project, uh, learn from my mistakes. Also, I just realized this is going live three days before Christmas. Uh, so happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope that you all have a safe and uh, happy holiday season. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to actually share something with you guys. So my fun announcement is that my brother Nick and I are actually starting a podcast. Now this podcast is also a YouTube channel. It's mainly going to be on YouTube and we're also going to be doing some videos that are not a podcast and way out of left field for what I'm doing. Um, I just wanted to mention it in case anybody's interested and and if you're not interested, no worries at all. Um, but we're actually doing like a paranormal podcast and we're gonna go investigate some paranormal places. Uh, totally know the spooky vibes are not for everybody, uh, but if that's something that you guys are interested in, I'm gonna leave it. Um, the channel like linked here in the cards and in the description box below and um, it's called Seeking Spirits. So we're really excited. We actually just already have filmed uh, a few different locations. It was pretty fun and we filmed a few podcasts and it was, you know, it's been really cool to um, start a project with my brother. So if you guys are interested, go check that out. Um, and yeah, this is the last of the subfloor. So don't worry guys, the sunroom saga will be done eventually, but not today because I still have to prep the subfloor and put the floors down. Okay, anyway, we'll do that later. Uh, that's where we're gonna end it off. Okay, love you, bye.